Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is Sunday, June 26th, 2022. And this message is for this week or whenever it is your eyes fall upon this message. I've already shuffled up and cleared the deck and I've pulled three cards. So decide now if you wanna choose card number one, card number two, card number three, or just listen to the entire message. And starting with card number one, we have the card that says family tree. The number is 14. And the general message of this card is expansion and legacy. So let me show you the card. Now what's been coming up a lot is this idea of what goes on in your family, in your lineage, through the ancestors. What patterns, what shaped you, what behaviors have been going on for many, many, many years down the lineage of your family tree? And just to back up a little bit, when we look at the cards, we look at them for simple, very gentle guidance. It's not set in stone, and it's just something that helps you to navigate whatever it is that you're going through, but it's not the only tool. A great thing to have is many, many tools in your spiritual toolbox. So this is one tool. Why am I telling you this? Because I am not an astrologer, but in astrology, this is perfectly in alignment, this card, with what's going on with the different planets right now in astrology. And what we are really being asked to look at and to examine, and if you look at what occurred over the last two and a half years, starting in 2020, when we were in a numerology number, universal year of the number four, which represents basically, if you know tarot, the tower card or the death card, which is simply saying everything needs to be shaken up, crumbled, think of like a building that's being demolished, crumbled down to the ground in tiny little pieces so that when you decide to rebuild, you're gonna rebuild brick by brick by brick and you're going to take your time. But in doing it that way, it's gonna be stable, it's gonna be solid, it's going to definitely not be something that wavers. And if we look at this card, that's what a tree represents, stability. And then you have the family all around the tree. And the family is expanding. So as we continue to grow, I have children, one day my children will have children, etc. And it goes down the lineage. So this card is asking you to look at your family legacy, your ancestral lineage. If you right now are struggling or suffering or going through this stagnancy or some feeling of not being good enough, not being worthy, not receiving what it is you desire, I want you to take time to look at the family legacy. Maybe you are looking at something that's going on with your child right now or with your parent right now or with yourself right now and notice how far down or how far back it goes through, has been coming through the lineage, trickling through you and maybe trickling down to your child. And you're being invited to look at that because there is such a blessing in that. There's a lesson in there. Maybe it's something that you never saw before. Maybe it's something you put your head in the sands about, but you're being asked to begin to look at that because it's going to help your legacy. It's going to help your family. And in that expansion, we have wisdom that comes through and that wisdom comes through to help you so that it helps you in your healing process because we're all going through one, especially now, especially for the last few years. Whether you realize it or not, you're in some way of healing something, some trauma, some wound, some lesson, some obstacle. 
And in doing the work of looking at what went on in your family legacy, maybe it's something that bothers you or that holds you back and you're saying no more, I have to move forward. So I have to heal this. I have to understand it. I have to work through it. I have to heal it. That's our card number one. So card number one is asking you to observe as the witness, all of this stuff, limiting belief, behavior, thought pattern. Of course, everybody is different and everybody will have a different answer to that. But you're being asked to truly observe without any judgment what's been coming down the pipeline for you because maybe you're going to be the one that finally works through this for the entire ancestral lineage. And your ancestors are cheering you on on the sidelines. So invite them in to support you, to guide you, to maybe give you signs, to show you signs if you're confused and you're not sure what it is. They're there to help you and they want to help you. That's our card number one, observe. Because card number two is Archangel Haniel and she, Okay, sorry about that. The whole thing, my phone, everything fell. So let's get back to card number two. Card number two is Archangel Haniel. And so that's the next step, observing as the witness, the lineage. Next step is what comes up for you? Feel it. Allow it to go through the chakra system from the top the third eye, the throat, the heart, you can't see, but the belly button, below the belly button, all the way down the legs to the roots of the feet, the ankles, the heels. Allow the feeling to really go through the chakra system. Visualize it. Imagine it going through as you're feeling whatever is rising up as an observer. Because the Archangel Haniel is the Archangel that helps us to see whatever it is that we are hiding from ourselves. And of course, whatever someone else is hiding from us. So we are taking now the lineage of our family, our family tree. What trickled in down that lineage? Maybe let's look at the good also. I know I talked about the darker side because we all have light and dark but take the light aspects of your lineage as well. What brings you joy? What family traditions do you have? What foods maybe are important to your family lineage? lineage? What traditions are important to your family lineage? What new traditions have you created? Expansion, right? That is an expansion of what you had when you were growing up. Now you have your own family. What have you expanded to create new for your family? The Archangel Haniel is saying, with this observation, we want you to feel everything. Feel all of it. Feel the light. Feel the darker. Feel it all. The number on the card is 15. So it represents five, meaning changes are occurring. Yes, sure, if you add in some new tradition, it's a change, but it's a change for the better because you enjoy it. But we have 14 and 15, and four, I explained to you guys, the crumbling down, five is all about change, but the number one on both of those cards is about independence and standing on your own two feet in, so you're in your family lineage, but now you're adding something beautiful to that lineage. So then your children will bring that into their lineage when they have children. What is your legacy that you want to create for your children? Or for the next generation in your family if you don't have children? Because you could be an aunt and not have children, but you're very close to your nieces and nephews and you want to create a new tradition or something like that. The Archangel Haniel is asking you to see all the beautiful blessings that you have right now in your family. This can also be about soul families, but the point is we want you to feel it, feel it all, and feel into your intuition, the third eye, feeling into all of you know, maybe your lineage actually is the lineage, like my lineage, is of women that were very in tune 
and maybe men also, I don't know. My son is very in tune, so maybe there were other men before him that are. But feeling into that lineage of your intuition, the sixth sense, and bringing it in to your family right now and showing your family that it's okay to trust the sixth sense. We were given it for a reason. We all have these gifts. It is so important now to tap into them more than ever. That's card number two. And then look at card number three. I said independence and the card is freedom. What do we want to hold on to? What do we want to let go of? So what didn't work anymore? A lot of times when a client comes and we talk about this kind of work and we're looking in the lineage, something can go seven generations down the lineage. Maybe it is a feeling of abandonment and it shows up in different ways. Maybe it is an idea of not speaking your truth and it can show up seven different ways. But if you've taken that time to look at cards one and two and to observe what went on in the lineage, what was created, what traditions did you want to keep? What beliefs do you still believe in? What are your values that you hold dear to yourself? And if anything came up, once you felt it all with the help of Archangel Haniel, invite her in and give her permission, you're freeing yourself. And look at the number on the card again, number four. So we have this crumbling down, right? And it's crumbling demolition to the ground of tiny little particles. But now we're rebuilding. And when I rebuild, I'm setting myself free. I'm releasing the shackles of the things that no longer serve me. I am free to feel, to see, to be, to think, to hold a value dear to me more than I ever was before once I go through this process. And if you look at the card, you're in this freedom of moving on and letting go, you're expanding. And we go back to card number one, and you're rebuilding a new legacy for yourself. So this message for this end of June, coming off of the summer solstice and coming towards June 29th being a new moon in Cancer, Cancer is a water sign, and it's really about feeling those feelings that are coming up. You're being asked to do that, and when you have a new moon, it's a great idea to set your new intentions. So what is one new thing you want to add to your legacy if you were to leave this earth tomorrow? What is one thing that you want to be remembered for and you want maybe your family to bring into future generations? Think about that and start creating it with the new moon energy. I hope that this message served you and I wish you a great day and a great week. We'll speak soon. Bye-bye.